Ni har dansat sydafrikansk dans. Varför gör ni detta? Vi startade upp ett samarbete med dem så vi var i Sydafrika i mars. Och nu så har de kommit hit då. Och då bjöd vi in dem i och med att det är kulturkalas och sådär så att hålla en dansworkshop här på kulturkalaset. När ni var i Sydafrika, hur gick det i samarbetet? Hur fortsätter ni det nu? Alltså vi började med att göra storytelling och hitta, hitta någon slags gemensam tema som vi alla som låg oss varmt om hjärtat. Vi, NATA då, som är den organisationen som vi samarbetar med där, de, de är en skola och en teater för ungdomar från kåkstäderna framförallt. Så vi hade workshop kan man säga och ja, vi hade även en community-konferens då i, i Kapstaden och nu fortsätter vi de här diskussionerna och vi har kommit fram till lite teman och lite idéer om hur vi skulle kunna fortsätta arbeta och faktiskt göra en föreställning tillsammans. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Noma Kose, uh, I'm with Akifa here, we came from South Africa, we've got a small short dance for you guys so you can also join us. We're gonna show how to do it, and then Put your bars down. you're gonna dance your butt off. Det som ni kommer att göra på Storan, eh, vad är det för någonting? Föreställningen som vi gör på Storan eh, nu i, som vi ska spela nu i september då. Den hade ju premiär på Dans- och teaterfestivalen, den heter Trotagningar. Det är fyra stycken tjejer från eh, Angered mellan eh, 14 och 20 år som berättar om sin tro. Inte bara religiös tro utan även sin tro på sig själva eller tro på framtiden eller vad de har trott på innan och sådär. Så vi har jobbat väldigt mycket med dans där också. Fast med en annan slags dans, inte så mycket sydafrikansk dans. Men... Så det är en föreställning som, eh, som avslutar då de här tre åren som Debyne har eh, haft eh, finansiering för att utveckla community teater i Angered. Ja, ni har ju er verksamhet i, i Nordost. Hur, hur kommer ni att utveckla den i det området? Ja, alltså jag hoppas att den kommer utvecklas på lite olika sätt. Det borde, finns ju, I Lövedet finns det ju många organisationer som är intresserade av att den får leva vidare där. Och bland annat hyresgästföreningen och Stena och, och sådär. Och även Utveckling Nordost är intresserad av att vi ska göra någonting mer av kommunitetsteatern i Angre så den får leva vidare även om inte Debyne kan finansiera det längre då. Det låter väldigt intressant. Tack så mycket. What do you think um, about Sweden so far? Well, Sweden is very different to where we come from because uh, Sweden has many structures and has many programs and things that I think we want we would like to have in South okay. Africa. So what we are looking at as we're here is we're looking at what would we like to to, to go back home and say we need some of that. And I think that the girls have, um, have seen things that they, they think youth need in South Africa that you have here in Sweden. So I'll let Akifa tell you what she thinks. What, what, what would that be that you would bring back to South Africa? Um, first of all, the youth buildings, the places for youth to go to. And not telling them what to do or telling them, okay, you have to play sport because it's all that we offer. Asking them and asking us what we would like to get from them. Like, for example, cooking lessons, um, poetry. Yeah. 
Like yeah, I like that we have we have the, the decision. We can decide what we want, and not them telling us what we need and what we should take from them. Yeah, yes, I like that. It's our idea. What was your impression when you were doing the dance workshop? Wow, I enjoyed it. Everyone is well, just like dancing the whole time, and the, there was this little girl. She was like trying so hard doing the dance, and the old lady it was cool. It was amazing, and the fact that you took took care of your youth, and they, 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 there's this part where they don't pay in in, in universities. We do pay in university, so I would like that to happen to South Africa. For me, it's thumbs up. Yeah. And education is like, you have to go to school here. In South Africa, we just don't care about education, no. No one forces. If you don't want to go to school, you just sit at home. Yeah, it's like you, you do sin if you don't go to school. So it's good. Good. So what is the best thing that happened to you while you were in Sweden now? There are so many bad things, uh, I mean good things about, about Sweden that I've, that I've noticed. Is the is the value that they've got among humanity, you know, and 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 mostly for me it was about of trying to make sure that they keep this the, the, the flame burning in terms of making sure that theatre is alive, you know, and 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 they try their best to invest in theatre and and try to to come up with new ideas that are going to excite the youths. Uh, are going to empower the youth. That's the most important thing that we should be doing in South Africa to invest in theatre so that we can empower the youth of today with all the challenges that they face. So you think that the cooperation with the Bina will bring it, bring something to your cooperation? Yes, I think what we've we've discovered by working away from home is that there's an, another kind of community that's a, that's a, across the continents, across the, across the world. So it gives us a greater perspective, and it's it's it goes both ways because it's it so teaches us what is very similar everywhere, and it teaches us how we can we can invest in that and make that bring strength to our own to our to our to, our, to South Africa definitely and we hope that we can offer something also to Dibuna to to, uh, to to the Swedish kids that we're working with and it's I think that's that's a wonderful thing to, to create a new community it's, it's very beautiful